Pixie Boy can blow raspberries now. <laughs> Happy Friday. Of the bus, but literally the second we walk up to the bus stop, the bus showed up and then we were he was in a stroll and we we're like <laughs> so we're beginning our night here in Lincoln Park trying to go to a very famous pizza pie place and I say it specifically specifically like that because you'll see why I'm salivating thinking about it. It's um, not quite pizza but it's called Oven Grinder and Pizza Company. Called oven grinders, but they're mm -hmm. pizza but they're not pizza, they're pizza pies. We might try to get pizza every Friday for a little Chicago pizza flair. Yeah. So and this and this is, is a, a good one. one. This is a good one. This is a famous, delicious. I've only been there once. Once. Alrighty, so bear with us if we are not in focus. Today we still have to figure out the screen situation. Um, so I don't know where Peter is in the shot. But we put our name down. There's a like a decent wait. What's funny is Usually this restaurant was only waiting. They never did reservations, but with COVID, now they have introduced it. Like, so, yeah, if you are interested in going, you can get a reservation online Yelp. just off of, yeah, like the link is on their website or Yelp. When we first came here, it was a little old Italian man who was like, what's your name? Yeah. And I was like, Peter, for I think three or, it might've been just us two. Yeah. So, All right, I'll come back in an hour and a half. And like, he didn't write anything down. I was like, you're gonna be good? He's like, I'm fine, hour <laughs> he and a knows. half. Come yeah. back like an hour later. I'm like, hey, what's the wait looking like? He's like, you? I told you an hour and a half. <laughs> you still got 20 more minutes. Right. So they said come back in 50 minutes. If there's something available sooner, they'll just text us. But until then, we're going to stroll Lincoln Park. we got to show you some of these statues at this park. I think this park right here is sponsored by Lincoln Park Zoo. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of animal statues. And the park is super cool. And they have their own tree of life. but now you do need reservations. It closes at five, so hopefully we will be able to come soon, maybe on a weekend or like straight from work, like if we actually get out of the house at four. The conservatory though, right? Which, yeah, which is right behind Sarah there. That big building over there, that opened up. Today, today. today. Um, and like the reservations are kind of booked up, but hopefully we'll get to do that soon. And they have a spring flower show going on now until May, I think. So that should be exciting. Well, we will be back. And both of these are free. Yeah. Wait for it. Look at, there's some gray wolves right outside of Lincoln Park Zoo. I mean, they're in the zoo. Yeah, we're, <laughs> ju we're just right outside of it. Look at them. My, my oh. used to be favorite animal. What's your favorite animal now? I don't know, maybe, maybe wolf still. I like sea lions. They're big. That one's on the box too. Ooh, get comfy. Eve Just like does Eve. That same thing. Wow. Check out this. Welcome to Nature Boardwalk. It's like our own Chicago version of Crescent Lake a little bit, but wait. See this Coca-Cola hut? Not sponsored. Boom, look at that view. Yes. Usually there's uh when it's warm out, there's a ton of swans hanging out in this area. Because we're literally right next to the zoo. Like there's the zoo. Here's this little, this is South Pond, or South Pond's very close. There's a South Pond and a North Pond making a little sandwich with the zoo. She's so Instagram over there.
We've made our way back to the restaurant and the little baby is asleep. All right, we got James out of the stroller because I'm assuming we've been here, you know, before. It's a pretty tight place, even with the social distancing. I don't want to risk being able to maneuver the stroller around. Mm -hmm. And he stayed asleep, actually. Yeah. So. Also, an important note is that it is cash only. We thought maybe with COVID, they would also be doing digital. Old school Italian joint. Alrighty, so here is their menu. We got two pot pies. I got veggie. Peter got meat. Oven grinders are the sandwiches. And we also got Mediterranean bread. That is like the secret gem here. I got a 312. Wow. Pretty good. My first time getting a 312 back in Chicago. Yeah. And he's just cozy as could be. He's asleep if you couldn't tell. <laughs> well, well, well. The Mediterranean bread has arrived. They serve it without plates. You just tear it up and dive right in. You haven't had this in like six or seven years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolute beauty. We decided to get the chef's salad. It did come with olives on it. Peter already wiped them away. Is this not just like the epitome of an Italian restaurant? This feels like... We're back? <laughs> yes. Do you agree? I agree. Are you, do you disagree, agree, or are you uncertain? And then the dressings are creamy garlic and sour poppy seed, and our waitress said they're really good mixed together. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is what we mean by pizza pie. This is not deep dish. This is not traditional Chicago. It's just it's not pizza. Right. It's, it's a pizza pie. Right. It's famous in Chicago, but it's not like the pizza that Chicago is famous for. I just wanna... <laughs> These are the doorknob sized mushrooms that are in there. Peter says they're so tasty. I've yet to try it. Look at that. I am going to vomit. Sarah's being smart and taking it home. Mine's in my belly. Mm. Worth it? I'm just like breathing through it. So good. Sauce, so good. This is so good. Garlic. So good. Alrighty, our check just got here. It has a little goodbye treat. They gave us honeycomb dipped in dark chocolate. This stuff is delicious, but it gets all up in your teeth because it's like honeycomb. Tasty. And the baby, still asleep. What a little angel. We're such city boys. <laughs> We're in the bus stop sleeping. <laughs> Here's our bus, the 22. This is the best welcoming ever. They make me some fresh Nespresso. And they actually had leftover crab legs because Christina made crab legs. Thumbs up or thumbs down? And they saved me some. So even though I'm about to burst, I'm about to eat this here. Just have one. We're here. My baby pooped his pants. I don't know if they've seen my haircut yet, but Bye. this is not Christina's new boyfriend. <laughs> this is Grant. And you are not Peter's brother. We've been getting lots of comments. But are we? We were both born in the same state. You know. Pretty much like 30 minutes away from each other. Just five years apart. You uh, you tell us. Violet told Someone me. Someone pays for the DNA test, we'll take one. Or was it five years apart? <laughs> Violet told me that Grant got his hair cut, but he still has some hair left. So don't worry. <laughs> Read the news. We're playing the primary. Oh, All players gain one extra influence clue for each fundraiser card they play. What's a clue? <laughs> I 
just made the comeback in the game. Christina had to go see if Luca woke up. James has to get changed. And I asked Grant, do you have sweets? Do you have desserts? And he says, oh, hold on. Yes, he does. I look like LeBron James. That's actually holding mine. This. I forgot it here. I look like LeBron James when he's holding his trophies. There you go. Same thing, right? Never play with Grant Sakari. He's such a sore loser. He sabotages even his closest of friends. <laughs> Oh, Christina and, and Peter are pres and vice pres. What are we over here? I, I lost by one. I got in last place by one. It was because I won round. You guys let me win thirty six points. Like we it was did nobody's. a joke. <laughs> we did a joke. I'm the VP. <laughs> You're the next president of the United States. We did a joke. <laughs> I just want to take him by his ankles and hang him upside down. Try. Like, like Dora's here. He's up super late. Everybody knows whoever wins here. He is up super late. Alrighty, round two. Take your guesses as to who's gonna win. This is who I got. Sarah's giving all Sherry gives like five. Yeah, I start with five. You hear that guy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One hour later. Most influence cubes in their hand wins the game. What happens if there's a Santa tie? There's still so a tie of holder one off of all five <laughs> players and play another game of the primary. Oh, wow. Um, I'm bitter because if, if Peter wouldn't have done me wrong and did a negative ad against me, I would have won that state and had 14 instead of 10. So we tied. He knew that because he's doing all the math in his head. He's an engineer. <laughs> We've been here about a month now. That's insane. Truly, truly insane. March 26th by Habas. Stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. Well, isn't that the truth? We're home and someone's being so goofy. <laughs> Such a goofy kid. Being goofy goober. <laughs> Look at us over here. <laughs> Look at you. You ready for bed, sweetie? Oh no. <laughs> it is good to be home. Oh, good to be gorgeous. home. Believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>